flopped on the games network i'm gonna talk about star wars battlefront 2 which got slammed because of its use of microtransactions and even after they were removed from the game and uh amount to purchase heroes got lower now every time i turn on the game i get a daily login crate which means i'm getting free stuff every time i log in every day let's see what we got here engine heat dissipator <laughs> like let's see what that does decreases the afterburner cooldown cool let's equip that Now, what's next? Some crafting parts and some credits. Does that seem like a pay to win kind of feature? Getting some afterburners, some improved afterburner cooling parts? I don't believe these um, cards that you equip change the game that much. Ooh, 2,000 credits. That's nice. Crafting parts. Look, I already have um, enough credits to purchase several hero crates, several starfighter crates, and about two trooper crates. Next daily crate available in 14 hours because you get one every day. That don't seem that, um, that bad. What's wrong, guys? Just give it a chance. Give it a bloody chance! Just give it a chance! For Christ's sakes! This game, so far, has been... Explosive. In some ways, revolutionary. Like, in the first person shooter department. It's incredible. The level design, the detail how easy it is to pick up and play just try it man I don't know how you're gonna try it because you can't try it without buying it there's no demo but the game is incredible I'm glad that there's a bunch of people that are playing the game and I see a bunch of people with low ranks like me which means they just purchased it like I did I purchased it last um, last weekend but I'm telling you since I've been playing I'm getting that same feeling I got when I was playing Battlefield 1 that, like, it just opens my eyes. It's incredible. And it's unfortunate that this system that is put in place by the publishers is um, diminishing what the developers put together here. We're about to see how explosive this game is. And I don't play with the HUD, so everything looks beautiful. We're currently at um, Kashyyyk, which is the home world of the Wookiees. Look at this. How many games you know look like this? Jesus. My boys are getting shot. I don't even see from where. It looks like war. If you're a sci-fi fan, you don't even have to be a fan of Star Wars to enjoy this game. If you're a first-person shooter fan, perfect dark fan, you need to try this game. And this game features some great split-screen service, which is an element lost in a bunch of games. Hell, if you're not a first-person shooter fan, you can play third-person. It's all about the engine. Like, you guys really need to experience this engine. Everyone that has ever played a game online and put some hours into it know that if you get a good engine, the experience could be different and unique every time. Right now I'm not trying to die, so I'm being very, oh, I'm being very um, careful. We have to guide this into the, the base and protect it while they try to take it down. We're currently on the assault side. 
This is the best game mode to play. In Battlefront 1, there was too many game modes and it wasn't clear what's the dominant or must play game mode, but they simplified it a bit in Battlefront with, wow, deep shot. They simplified it away, um, in a way with Battlefront. And I think it was a good decision simply because um, it really improved each mode. So this Galactic Conquest mode in this game, I didn't play it too much in the last game, but in this game it's definitely um, worth the hype. Look at the detail in these maps. This game features all eras of Star Wars. That means Rogue One, Last Jedi, Force Awakens, the prequels. Alright, this is definitely an amazing um, vantage point. And I can even step out here, so I don't see any targets really. I'm trying to spot some people. But they're definitely well hidden. I guess that's because the base is on the other side. <laughs> I'm facing the wrong way. One of the many um, potential complications of playing without a HUD. But it's all worth it. In real life, if you were in war and you knew the map, you don't need some radar. You just need instincts. Damage to one transport. Alright. Jesus. It's a mess over here. Ion damage to I like that transport. I can still climb all this. I expected to run into like some in invisible barrier by now. And I'm still maneuvering my way through the island without being detected. See one of my buddies here. I see a clone. Alright, my teammate got him. MTT's proceeding through checkpoint two. Oh my god, I wanna take out that clone trooper. Alright, let me provide cover for my teammates. I saw somebody up there. Oh, one of mine. Look at the, the lighting on PS4 Pro. You see the way it shimmers between the leaves? That's what they mean by it. Improved God light. Alright, we're moving forward, so I gotta just keep going. Crazy that I was above that whole structure. Look at the lighting. Let's go towards the lighting. This gonna look beautiful. Actually, let's see what's in front of the ship. Still don't see any clones. And don't think me not running into enemies means that, oh, the game's broken, it's cheap, blah, blah. Shut up. <laughs> the maps are enormous in a good way. I haven't been running into enemies because I haven't been at the front line. Now I'm approaching the front line and you see how different it is. Look at those lighting effects. People ask me all the time what does um, PS4 Pro really improve versus regular PlayStation 4. Uh, and one of the things it improves is the lighting. There's no other way to say it. Oh, this looks cool. Oh, check it out. All right, so where, where are we? I see what looks like a wild wing, at least an old model. Got him. All right, who, who else? Who's next? 
This is the first time I ever rode in this um, ship, and it's pretty fast. It's pretty smooth. All right, so oh, I just need to fix the remotes that um, controls the next time I'm in the menu. All right, so that's to all right now. I got it. The right stick is to turn and move. Left is to pick up speed. Got it. Oh, most. All right, let's try to get out of here. <laughs> this is me trying to get used to the controls. It's a bit tricky. I just gotta focus. All right. So left is to change speed and pitch. So let me slow down now and find a target. Almost. I gotta speed up. Oh. Alright, some. Can I really get on top of these um, houses? Alright, I see a target. They're shooting me. Oh shit! I'm gonna crash. So much detail in these maps. Right, I'm getting shot. Oh, let's see that heavy laser. I gotta find an enemy. Oh, seems like there's one behind me. Oh, and I crashed. 2,000 points earned, so now I can spawn as one of the droids, but I'm gonna hold my points. You know, I don't get to use them. This video is not about getting a kill streak or dominating the floor, dominating the battlefront. Yeah, I'm gonna dominate the battlefront. It's about showing the game so back to what I was saying people ask me what is most improved on PS4 Pro and it's the lighting they have improved god light which is this the way the light shimmers between objects you see that not all games utilize it as good as um, Battlefront and Battlefield do but that improves any game's lighting which means you could pick up a launch, a launch PS4 game, and even though they never got a PS4 Pro patched, the lighting is guaranteed to be improved. Wow, we're really in some swamps right now. You see how the map has um, gradually changed? Oh, we see an ape. Ah! Oh, that ape look crazy. It got like two horns coming out of his head. Explosive 
So now it's been confirmed. The Wookiees come from apes. Ah! <laughs> it was kind of hard trying to realize um, what side Yoda's on. Because I know Yoda never worked with the Trade Federation or the droids. But um, he didn't work for the clones for that long either. So I still might have to think. Who was I again? Am I a robot? Am I a droid? Alright, let's follow Darth Maul. I want to see what he gets up to. Oh, he looked dirty. Alright, we gotta get another entrance. Ah! <laughs> Yoda. Oh, I wish this would be useful right now, but... I don't think it would be. Alright, where's our little tank thing that's trying to get here? I don't see it. Alright. That's a um a huge basically pre Empire Star Destroyer. Oh I survived, I jumped over the gate. I threw a grenade and they threw a grenade too. A perfectly thrown one too. Headshot. Oh man. Alright, let's get the heavy guns out here. Look at all the action. I can't even tell you what's going on right now. grenade in the droids. Oh, yeah. Lucky, I was about to rocket his ass all the way to hell. When you're playing as the heroes, you can only play in third person. Oh! I shot a rocket at his feet, man. Alright, let's go back to being a special, uh, a regular specialist. So all I'm saying is that Battlefront is delivering right now on the game, gameplay side of things, content side of things. And the truth is that some people were talking about how the campaign mode is good, but it's not that long either, blah, blah, blah. Well, the new DLC update has just added three chapters for the single player. And the DLCs are going to be free. So it's my opinion that every time they release a brand new DLC, um, they might add a new story mission. Like they plotted it this way so that they could update both and take both seriously. Either way, man, I just want you to try it. <laughs> if you're a first person fan, 
particularly a Battlefield fan. Or sci-fi in general. Ooh, something you need to try, man. Oh, I see them. Damn. Alright, I'm gonna probably do one more spawn. Like I said, I wasn't trying to get wins, wasn't trying to compete. I just wanted to show off the game a little bit. And if you look at the beginning of this video, the way the environment looked, and where we are now, you see how dope um, the Lactic Conquest is. Oh! You see how dope Galactic Conquest is that it really changes the dynamic of the game. My last spawn. Two complete twenty per cent behind schedule. Swiftly eliminate clone squads and prepare for phase three. See, phase two has just been completed. Final phase. Detonate the front and rear fuel pipes before the cruiser launches. It must never leave Kashyyyk intact. So now we it turns into like a search and destroy rush type of thing. We're going in. Fall under. Roger, Roger. Let's go with heavy again. Rear fuel pipes wired for detonation. We set the detonator. We set the detonators. for watching subscribe for more videos more battlefield videos coming soon battlefront rather peace